Excuse me guys, I got a sprint to make. What's up YouTube? Nightmare here with your weekly dose of MegFed Paintball. How many do we got? How many do we got? This week I am once again out playing at the greatest East Coast paintball field, Seabreeze Paintball. And Trevor's already halfway up the f***ing hill. This is a team deathmatch style of game, and we are only allowed to play in the woods. No village shenanigans for us this week. Nice and slow, man. We have taken a small core group of guys, and we're going to make our way around the edge line of the field. If all goes well, we will come out on top of the enemy player spawn point. Our small unit has just crossed the 50 yard line. We are now stepping into enemy controlled territory. As a great man once said, Stay frosty. We got one moving up, one moving up. Spool is my 12, spool is my 12, berm. Behind the spools is down. They're behind the building. I have two options right now. Stick to the shadows and cut in front of those ferns, or stick to the tape line behind them right into the bright sunlight where I may be easily seen. Since my squad has the shadow side well covered, looks like I'm going to be taking the tape line. Choosing to come this way was an excellent idea. I can put down suppressing fire as my squad slowly advances from the other side of these ferns. The best part though, is that they have no clue as to where this suppressing fire is even coming from. The enemy team has now begun to move back. It's now time to apply the pressure. Spools moved back. Spools moved back. Second building? Yeah, it's building right here in front of us. We can slowly put shadow walk these spools up ahead. Move back. Move back. Move back. All right, he's out, he's out. Yeah, I gotta reload. Oh, come on. Following. Whoa, back, back, back. Far back. Far back? Yeah. That could have ended real badly. Had they have been expecting me, that would have been the end of my game right there. Far back behind the second building. Yeah. Oh, 